I'm here in the beautiful city of Busan, the very southern easternmost tip of the country, and I'm here at my Mecca. And I told everyone I knew that I'd be doing this at a thousand subs. I don't have time for that shit. Gorilla Brewing, baby. Up there! So I have a few special guests waiting upstairs. So let me get upstairs into the bar and I'll show you who I'm meeting. My special guests today are my mother and my father. Hi, I'm Chris. <laughs> so, uh, mom, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? I'm Kevin's mother. <laughs> no names, What's all right. Name? What's your I name? have no name. I'm anonymous. <laughs> yeah, so, I, it's called I'm a Chris. blind taste testing jury. I'm, I'm Chris, <laughs> Kevin's biological father. We've done the and, DNA kit. And my adoptive. <laughs> Anyway, we're at Gorilla. Uh, I decided to get them a tasting flight. So the first one is the raspberry wheat, and they're gonna give you kind of a little bit of a few sentence rundown on what they think. They know how much I love this beer, so we'll see how much they love it too. I uh, just had the raspberry, uh, Gorilla raspberry, and I've had the raspberry a lot of times in my life, but this stuff takes the cake. Does it look um, good? Yeah, it's really, it's got a nice, Raspberry flavor, strong raspberry flavor, but it's smooth, it's silky. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty nice stuff. Yeah. Verdict out of 10? Out of, uh, out of 10. I give it a eight and three quarter. Mother, thoughts? <laughs> At the risk of stating the obvious, it very definitely has a forward raspberry taste the minute you sip it. Yep. Um, it's light. There's a little citrusy feel to it. It's, uh, thank God, no hoppiness. Not hoppy, but no maltiness or any of that stuff. Yeah. Um, I like it. Excellent. Yeah. It's, enough. it's very nice. Okay. Out of 10? Yeah, I, eight, eight and a half. Okay. She made strong great. praise, Paul. My mom immediately asked, well, what about you, Kevin? What do you think? It's hard to get, oh, right on the nose, just pure, like, mm, raspberry squeeze. You can't get this in Seoul. The special editions that they can, they'll send up to Seoul. This is one of their flagship beers here, and it's just, it's not easy to find, yeah. It's like texture is really smooth, not overly carbonated. The raspberry comes through and it tastes like fresh raspberries. It doesn't feel like it's been aged at all. So it's, yeah. Yeah, it genuinely tastes like a freshly plucked one, which I don't know if this is just, maybe they make a lot of it and they release it constantly, but there's no aging on this. It's so fresh and crisp, yeah. Steady, steady. Out of 10, eight and four fifths. A shade higher than my father's eight and uh, three quarters, yeah. All right, round two with my parents. We have the flagship Gorilla IPA. Not the special ones, this is the standard issue, always available flagship IPA. So, father. Yeah, hi. Any thoughts? Hi, my name is Chris. You mentioned that, yeah. I uh, know. I, uh, it's this Gorilla IPA, uh, and I find it. There's a hint of grapefruit, and it's got a nice quick finish. Uh, uh, beautiful, really good stuff. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd buy that again. Would you put this higher or lower than the first one? Ooh, uh, that's Number a eight, tough eight one. Eight and three quarters. I right? would say I would say I like the first one a little better, but that doesn't mean this isn't good. It's just that I prefer that raspberry a little more, but this is really good stuff. So are we saying 8.25, 8.5? I would say 8.5. Nice. Yeah, 8.5. Yep. yep. Mother, thoughts yep. on the IPA? Yeah, well, he stole my thunder because I was the first one to say, am I getting a hint of grapefruit here? She, she did say it's that, true. to be fair. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> there is. There's just a hint. There's just a hint. It doesn't, like, knock you down. It still tastes like a nice IPA, but there's that little hint of grapefruit, which I like because I like fruity stuff. And it's light. Um, yeah, very drinkable. Um, I did like the raspberry a little better, but that could just be because I like raspberry. So... 
This is, I love raspberry too. I always talk yeah. about raspberry beers on my channel. Yeah, yeah. So. I got it from my mother. There you go. 8.25? 8.3. Let's just be really dear. All right, let me grab a... I gave them this... I'm drinking a hot bomb, but yeah. Give me the IPA and I'll give you a, a little... Uh... Okay, now it's Kevin's turn. Oh, man, they've mellowed it out over the years. I think they're following the trend of the New England stuff. It's not nearly as bitter as it was. It's still really good, though. Yeah. The first grill IPA I had was like uh, six years ago, seven years ago. It's been a long time. Yeah, there's still a little bit of bitterness in it. There's almost like a florally, there's almost like a rose almost, like a floraliness to it. Like on the sub, the sub level. Yeah, there's a bit of bitterness. The grapefruit comes through a bit, but there's almost like a rose water kind of in there too. Huh. Like I said, they're not going to keep the same recipe for that beer for seven years, right? If trends dictate certain things, or the brewers want to change it a little bit, yeah. So, it'd be interesting to have an IPA from seven years ago and try it, but that's impossible. And it would taste like shit. It's beer number three, and it's the Gold Medal Asia Beer Championship IPA, the Newing. Covered many times on this channel in various different forms. But uh, we'll do mom first this time. Ladies first. Any thoughts on the New England IPA? It's not at all bitter. Uh, there's a little bit of a citrusy flavor to it. Quite smooth. Not too carbonated. Very drinkable. I like it. Yeah, but what number would you give it? What number? <laughs> Yeah, but the problem is I'm still going back to that raspberry, which is excellent. So, I don't know, eight and a half? Eight and a half? Sure, why not? Feeling generous. My turn. Okay, well, hold on. Let me see. There's a little bit of tiny, tiny hit of citrus. Uh, it's really nice. I would give it um, another eight and a half. It has come to my attention that my parents aren't huge fans of sour, so they don't want to review it. You can elaborate on that how you will, but this is the Mago Thai. It's a sour beer that's been, oh yeah, oh god, has been uh, aged in oak barrels that had Chardonnay in them. So the, I've had some red wine aged ones, but I've never had a white wine barrel aged anything. So. It has that barnyard that my parents have had a few times. They had the Soul Gypsy barnyard. They had the Birvana barnyard. Oh! <laughs> dad, the mom and dad said, we don't want to say anything about this beer. It's quite, like, it's got the Aceto, the Aceto Bacter. Yeah, like the... I'm not a fan of Chardonnay. I'm not a fan of Sours, but I'm not a fan of Chardonnay. This does not reflect poorly on your brewery, Paul. It's them. No, it is quite, it's not the sour in a citrus sense, it's the sour in the vinegary sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's much more of that acetobacter vinegariness. I don't mind it, I don't love it. It's all right though, I'm glad I tried it. We have two of them too, yay. Tomato sour, Asia, gold medal winner. Is it on? It is. Let mum go first. So, Chris and I grew up in Essex County, where there it used to be a great big Heinz plant in Leamington. We know ketchup. We know tomatoes. I pick tomatoes. There's a definite tomato hint to this beer, but it doesn't taste like Campbell's tomato soup, thank God. Thank you. Um, it's quite drinkable. I enjoyed it. I'm sure I'd want to drink it all night, but uh, yeah, very interesting. I enjoyed it quite a bit. That's it. Okay, uh, I think it's like Stompin' Tom said in the song, Stomping Tom Connors. All my, to all my Korean viewers, I'll put a description down below. It's tomato, it's ketchup. They, tomatoes should stick with ketchup and spaghetti sauce and not go beer because I don't really like that much the sour all right, tomato. Matt. All right.
right, now I have to ask you out of 10. 4.5. Four, four <laughs> four See, I was going to say at least yeah. 6.5. Sorry. I give the tomato sour uh, an... Uh, I, I did a video on this before. I don't know what I gave it then, but I do really like it. An 8? Yeah. Okay. It reminds me of pizza, and uh, Yeonju makes pizza, so I have to like it. Oh, that's 19, not 3. That's good. Last beer of the night, for them at least, and uh, this is the Popsicle IPA. It's a milk sugar, vanilla, tangerine peel uh, IPA that's supposed to be reminiscent of an orange creamsicle, shown here. And so, um, yeah, mom and dad. Any thoughts on this? Okay. I'll go first. It's, it's orangey. It's called a creamsicle beer. I can taste the orange, and it'd be really good in the summer. Oh, yeah. Uh, Really refreshing, refreshing in the summer. Hold on, let me hold on. He's had a few. Can you tell? I've had a few. Um, yeah, and it, but it's got a little sour to it, a little tiny sourness, but it's okay because it's very uh, limited sour. So I'd say yeah, I give it a 8.3. Ma, what do you? Think? He told me half an hour ago. We go by 0.25s in this country. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> He's, now we say an 8.3. Anyway. Now, Ma, what do you think? I, I didn't find it sour. I found it nice and orangey. Yeah, Mom, grab some. He's right. Here, take this. He's right. In the summer, this would be, like, killer. It would be really nice and light. Very refreshing. Um, yeah, I'd give it an 8-something. See, I'm just, I can't something. get over that raspberry one, man. It was excellent. I started, I started out strong, yeah. and I ruined everyone else's beers after that. Yeah. 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 We should have done the raspberry one last. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's yep. about it, yep. yeah. Dad, show everyone your new finger holder on your tablet. It's got a rabbit a on it. Happy New Year. This is Year of the Rabbit. Year, hey. And uh, where'd you get that tablet? We bought that. Kevin bought it through uh, a coup coupon. Coupon, coupon yeah. And it, he ordered it in the morning on a Saturday. It came Sunday Sunday afternoon while we were out at the Hanuk. And uh, and then Leslie bought this in Busan. Uh, she's got a little rabbit knob. So, yeah. She's got a rabbit knob. Yeah. It's cute. It's cute. You were here first. My mom has a little rabbit knob. <laughs> so we bought, our, we bought our Samsung tablet in Korea. A true souvenir. Because the one we bought, the one we brought, crapped out. So for uh, more. What can I say? Two hundred bucks. All right. Two hundred bucks. Adventures with the grabs to be continued.